everybody, Josh Cathcart here with Hitting Done Right. For this next instructional video, I'm gonna talk about head stabilization. Um, lots and lots of times, kids don't control their head, and therefore, they can't control their swing. One of the things I say all the time is, the swing will follow the head, and it's 100% true. As we dive into this, I'm gonna show a couple different um, I guess ways that the head moves, both forward and back, and over home plate and away from home plate, all of which we don't want, okay? The best hitters are the hitters that have a stable head, minimal movement. Before we get into that, I would like to y'all to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all can visit my website. The link's gonna be right up here. That has all of my services on it, online analysis, practice plans, merchandise. Go check that out. Um, we appreciate everything, man. The support's been awesome. These last couple of videos have done really well. So keep following. I'll keep cranking out the content, and I hope it helps. All right, so for this first drill, this one's really simple. I just call it head in the lane. Okay, you can see on the ground, I've got two pieces of PVC. Um, the first one is at the back corner of home plate. The second one is right here on the front edge. And then I have my T set up just middle, middle. Okay, the idea for this is just to keep our head in this lane. All right, um, I like to start here in launch position and have the head right in the middle. You could do this where you actually stride, and if you're gonna do it that way, then you wanna start your front foot right in the middle of the lane. Head would be over this back pole, and then when you stride, we would get the head in the middle, okay? But I'm gonna start this from launch. So head in the middle there, looking at the pitcher, little load back with a no stride, and then go through. The whole idea is to keep our head here, okay? If we get through that swing and you have kind of this fallback where we end up reaching and our head gets back over our back foot, no good. If we come in here and as we go to swing, we drift forward or push forward and the head gets out over here by the T and over our front foot, also not what we want. One of the cues for this is keep your head behind your front hip, okay? So if I come through here, I load, I get into launch, I wanna be able to keep my head behind this front hip and then over the back knee, okay? As I come through, right here, over the back knee with this, all right? Kids get out of control. They swing too hard, they're trying to do too much. And if you can get them to buy in to controlling their head, that swing is gonna improve instantly, okay? It's just, it's one of those things. I say it all the time. The swing, or the swing will follow your head. If you come in, head goes back, barrel goes down, swing goes up. Head goes forward, swing gets steep, and now we're chopping. If we can stay in the middle of our body, keep that head behind the front hip, turn through here, everything lines up nice and clean. So, hope that one helps. All right, y'all, drill number two for head stabilization. This is just back knee down. I actually have this drill already on the channel. It's just a drill video, it's just a short one. This is really, really good, again, for head stabilization, staying in the middle but it's also fantastic for staying in your legs, okay? And it's gonna give the, the young kids a pretty good leg workout. Um, just a medicine ball here, I've got a 10 pound. It doesn't matter what you use. It could be a basketball, soccer ball, whatever. So again, when you get into launch, right in the middle of your body, this one I have lined up with the back of home plate. Um, for these young players, I really like to use home plate as a visual for them to set up. And it's something they can see, it's really easy. Keeping the head at the back corner, or in the middle, or at the front, depending on how they set up. But for this, we're gonna get into launch, gonna make our swing, and after the swing, we're just gonna go down and touch this ball right here, okay? If I get going forward and move the head, I'm gonna have to reset. If I fall back from this, I'm not gonna be able to get there either. Okay, so pretty simple. 
Launch position, make our swing, just go down and touch that. This is where the legs work, okay? If you've got kids that wanna push up and they get onto their toes, not gonna be able to do this. Got kids that wanna fall back away from this on their heels, obviously not gonna be able to do it, okay? Staying right in the middle, making our swing. Now, another variation, and I like this one a whole lot, is you could start with your front foot on here, almost like a leg kick, okay? Get into the hip, stride off, and then go down, okay? So you can mix and match. You can do this with front toss too if you wanted. Actually, you could do it with live BP. But starting on the tee, keeping the head in the middle, on the back corner home plate, swing, and drop down into that lunge, staying centered. All right, y'all, for this third one, this is going to be for those players that have a tendency. Again, I'm gonna flip around here, so the pitcher would be this way. It's for those kids that wanna come in and really tilt over, causing the barrel to get lost. A lot of cut pop-ups, swings and misses, okay? Now, this is just a pool noodle. It's put over a little bit, or over a tanner tee here. Just slide it down, okay? This is on the inside between home plate and the batter's box line, okay? That's where this is set, and it's set right at belly button height, okay? The ball itself, outer edge, so that the player has room to slot, come through, and release the barrel there, being able to make a full swing. If they start to collapse over, we're gonna run into this pool noodle, okay? So, this is a really, really good one for kids that lose that posture. You'll see it a whole lot, okay? It's like they over tilt as they're coming in and they wanna bring their head down and everything else ends up scooping, all right? So, again, just like most of the drills here, we're gonna get into launch position, let them feel this, keeping the hands high first as we get into the turn and then being able to deliver the barrel, keeping the head still, should stay right on that pool noodle, okay? Another key factor here, keeping the head down, okay? Keeping your eyes on that tee when we're done, not trying to look up real quick and see where the ball's going, okay? Connect that chin, keeping the head there, if you can do that, the head is gonna stay pretty still. Swing should be pretty good. Right through there, all right? So, just get you a little pool noodle, stick it on top of a tee. They start to fall over, they're gonna run into it. So, I hope that helps. Y'all, this is a huge, huge deal. And it's not, it's not enough attention is given to it in practices. You see all these out of control swings where players are losing balance, losing posture, and they're just simply not controlling the head, okay? Your head is going to help you control balance, all right? Eight, 10, 12 pounds, however much your head weighs, just rolling around all over the place isn't gonna be good. We need to learn to control the head. If you can control the head, you can control the swing. Y'all be good.